Book of Genesis, chapter 27. Isaac blesses Jacob. When Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called a sow his older son and said to him, My son, and he answered, Here I am. He said, Behold, I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now then, take your weapons, your quiver, and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and prepare for me delicious food, such as I love, and bring it to me so that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son, Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game and bring it, Rebekah said to her son, Jacob, I heard your father speak to your brother, Esau. Bring me game and prepare for me delicious food that I may eat it and bless you before the Lord before I die. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice as I command you. Go to the flock and bring me two good young goats so that I may prepare the, from them the delicious food that your father... Oh, sorry. So that I may prepare from them delicious food for your father, such as he loves. And you shall bring it to your father to eat so that he may bless you before he dies. But Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, my brother Esau is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and I, sh and I shall seem to be mocking him and bring a curse upon myself and not a blessing. His mother said to him, Let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice and go bring them to me. So he went and took them and brought them to his mother, and his mother prepared delicious food such as his father loved. Then Rebekah took the best garments of a sow, her older son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. And the skins of the young goat she put on his hands and on, and on the smooth part of his neck. And she put the delicious food and bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. So he went in to his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am. Who are you, my son? Jacob said to his father, I am a sow, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Now sit up and eat of my game, so that your soul may bless me. But Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? He answered, Because the Lord your God granted me success. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Please come near, that I may feel you, my son, to know whether you are really my son a sow or not. So Jacob went near to Isaac his father, who felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's, but the hands are the hands of a sow. And he did not recognize him because his hands were hairy, like his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. He said, Are you really my son Esau? He answered, I am. Then he said, Bring it, bring it near to me that I may eat of my son's game and bless you. So he brought it near to him and he ate and he brought him wine and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come near and kiss me, my son. So he came near and kissed him, and Isaac smelled the smell of his garments and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is, the, is as the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you of the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine. Let peoples serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be everyone who blesses you. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, when Jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, the sow of his brother came in from his hunting. He also prepared delicious food and brought it to his father, and he said to his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's game, that you may bless me. His father Isaac said to him, Who are you? He answered, I am your son, your firstborn, a sow. Then Isaac trembled very violently and said, Who was it then that hunted game and brought it to me? And I, ate, and I ate it all before he came, and I blessed him. Yes, and he shall be blessed. As soon as the sow heard the words of his father, he cried out with an exceedingly great and bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me, even me, also my father, O oh, my father. But he said, your brother came deceitfully, and he has taken away, and he has taken away your blessing. The sow said, "Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has cheated me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing." Then he said, "Have you not reserved a blessing for me?" Isaac answered and said to a sow, "Behold, I have made him lord over you and all his brothers. I have given to him for servants." 
and with the grain and wine I have sustained them. What then can I do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac his father answered and said to him, Behold, away from the fatness of the earth shall your dwelling be, and away from the dew of heaven on high. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother, but when you grow restless you shall break his yoke from your neck. Now Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father had blessed him, and Esau said to himself, The days of mourning for my father are approaching, then I will kill my brother Jacob. But the words of Esau, her older son, were told to Rebekah, so she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said to him, Behold, your brother Esau comforts himself about you by planning to kill you. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. Arise, flee to Laban, my brother in Haran, and stay with him a while until your brother's fury turns away, until your brother's anger turns away from you and he forgets what you have done to him. Then I will send and bring you from there. Why should I be bereft of you both in one day? Then Rebekah said to Isaac, I loathe my life because of the Hittite women. If Jacob marries one of the Hittite women like these, one of the women of the land, what good will my life be to me? So in this chapter, we see Isaac is getting older, right? And he wants to bless a sow and he wants a sow to bring him some wild game that he gets from hunting so that he may eat of it and bless him, right? And while Esau is out hunting, Rebecca convinces Jacob to essentially pretend to be a sow so that he can get the blessing instead. Because this was mentioned in chapter, I'm going to go find it real quick. This was mentioned in chapter 25, uh, ch yeah, chapter 25, verse 28. Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. So here we see that Rebekah's favorite son is Jacob, Isaac's is Esau, so that explains why Isaac was going to give Esau the blessing, but then Rebekah wanted Jacob to get the blessing instead. So... After Jacob pretends to be a sow and pretends to bring wild game to his father, he successfully deceives his father and gets the blessing in return. And then right after that, a sow returns. Uh, oh. Sorry, where was I? Uh, so yeah, Jacob successfully... Uh, convinces Isaac that he is a sow, he gets the blessing from uh, Isaac, and then a sow returns near enough after Jacob leaves from Isaac, and he returns with the, you know, the game that he was bringing to Isaac, and he was, you know, intended to get the blessing. And when Esau realized that Jacob had essentially stolen his blessing from him, he got angry at Jacob and he was plotting to kill Jacob after, you know, Isaac dies and after like all the mourning and stuff, he was planning to kill Jacob. Rebecca catches word of this and she sends Jacob to her brother in Haran. And yeah, that's essentially where that chapter ends. Jacob is with Laban, Le Laban, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, Jacob is with Laban in Haran, waiting for Esau to calm down. Now, I only have two notes on verses in this chapter, right? So I'm just going to go through them. In, hold on, I just closed the Bible, not realizing I still had to read from it. <laughs> so first, uh, note that I got was verse 20, verse 37, which was, Isaac answered and said to his sow, behold, I have made him Lord over you and all his brothers. I have given to, to him for servant. Oh, I'm not saying that right. 
Behold, I have made him lord over you and all his brothers I have given to him for servants, and with grain and wine I have sustained him. What then can I do for you, my son? So this reflects uh, chapter 25, verse 23, which is, two na the, And the Lord said to her, this is to Rebecca, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you shall be divided. The one shall be stronger than the other, the older shall serve the younger. So, the older shall serve the younger. We see this happen when Isaac is telling Esau that he has already promised Jacob that he would be lord over Esau. So, essentially, Esau is now serving Jacob, fulfilling that verse. And then the next note I got was... 27 verse 46 which is then Rebecca said to Isaac I loathe my life because of the Hittite women if Jacob marries one of the Hittite women like these one of the women of the land what good will my life be to me and in chapter 26 verse 34 we see that when Esau was 40 years old he took Judith the daughter of Beeri the Hittite to be his wife and Basemith, the daughter of Elon the Hittite. And they made life bitter for Isaac and Rebekah. So, that sets up that, uh, you know, the Hittite women marrying a sow has made life bitter for, a, not a sow, uh, for Isaac and Rebekah. And we get to see Rebekah's dislike of Hittite women showing up again in this verse, in verse uh, 27, 46. 46. So yeah, uh, that's everything I got while reading through it. Uh, leave your thoughts down in the description. Go read it yourself in your own translation and stuff. And yeah, so that's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching. Keep running when no one else is and have a blessed day.